Hey everybody, I'm with the National Sales Manager of the Year, Cashin Bernard, here at the International Builder Show. Cashin, I'm proud to have you on the program. How does it feel to be here? Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here. It's a, a beyond my wildest dreams to have won tonight. I'm just so thankful of my team back home, and they're the reason why I'm here. Well, listen, man, I, I'm, I'm hearing big things. I mean, even from the judges, they weren't just, they were like, this guy freaking crushed it. Talk about the numbers. This is for the National Sales Manager of the Year, a very competitive category, MI Homes. Let's talk about specifics, the, the numbers that you were able to do with your team. Absolutely. When, when I uh, got on board with MI Homes, we were doing around 200 sales a year. Uh, last year, we actually reached the big milestone in the Dallas market of 500 homes. But not only that, I'm most proud that we closed the year with a 93%. Definitely would recommend store. Uh, <laughs> definitely would recommend score. Uh, we opened seven new communities last year, so we didn't just grow to grow, regrow to instill processes and systems and customer touch points that were proven effective. So it's not just, you know, hey, we sold lots of houses, you had happy customers. How do you do that? Because I, even like in the company I represent, it's like, yeah, my sales go up, but then the scores go down. So how do you do it different? Keep high, the numbers go up, but while the, the survey scores are still going up, Absolutely. I, I think first it, it starts with a complete team that are working and rowing together. Second, systems and processes. They say you need to inspect what you expect and that is part of the MI culture. We set an expectation and it's our goal to coach and develop our team each and every day. Tell me something that you do to motivate people. I think motivation, first off, it, it starts with who you are as a person. Uh, you've got to be self-assured and you've got to be in front of your team. We get so bottled down with meetings and agendas and, and a lot of activities that are outside of the team. So my number one goal is to be FaceTime with my team, to know that I am there to lead them, to help coach develop. Not only that, but when we're working through any scenario, I try to give them a multitude of different uh, ways to think about certain issues that come up. But not only that, I give them the freedom and space to be individuals as well. All right. Who motivates the motivator? How do you get pumped up? <laughs> you know, I've, I'm a self-motivator. I grew up uh, not with a silver spoon in my mouth. So my motivation each and every day is ensuring I'm providing for my family. Yeah, but I mean, you can provide your, with your family working. I mean, just any old job. You're breaking through and pushing yourself far. So I, I, what is it that makes you different? I mean, let, let's talk about it. I, I don't want to ever live in status quo, so I live my life as a, an individual. Earlier during my acceptance speech, I talked about integrity and never changing my identity, and those are the things that motivate me. Facts inform, but passion persuades. I just want to share, I, I heard when you, you, your speech was amazing, you could feel the positive energy, and, the, the, and you have a sense of intensity about you that I can, I can just tell, right? Um, any shout outs, anything, that, okay, so an aspiring sales manager, there are a lot of people that want to be where you're at. What advice would you have for somebody that, that's young and in the business that wants to grow? First, you've got to coach your craft. There are so many different programs out there, Jeff Shore being one of them, Sandler is another, but you need to go out and seek the educational tools so you've got those in your bag to help coach and develop. You need to read, read as much as possible, learn, meet other people in the industry. You can't just be stagnant, but most importantly, learn from your current team. There's a wealth of knowledge standing right in front of you each and every day. Anything else, man? I'm trying to extract any other any other tips, traps, tactics uh, as a sales manager or a sales professional. All I can say is be grateful for where you are each and every day. Motivate and tell your people they can. All right, guys. Pause this. I'm going to go do some push-ups. <laughs> I'm here with Cash. And listen, man, I'm proud to have you on the program. Your team is Thank proud you of you. And my homes, the National Sales and Marketing Council, are you going to be here next year? Absolutely. And it's a pleasure meeting you as well. Now, listen, I want to get some of your team members, sales people, sales rookie, Let's get them up here next year. Well, tonight we got to see Emily Joseph as a silver finalist, as well as Shantae Brown, online sales professional. She was a gold winner tonight. So we're there, but I promise you next MI year. Holmes was here in a big way with uh, Will Duderstats here. A lot of you guys are at a big presence here. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Here in Caesars Palace at the 2020 International Builder Show. Visit thenationals.com.